Some big stuff happening in Aurora, Colorado. This is a sleeping suburban town, not really that much action. It's adjacent to Denver, which if you guys don't know what's going on, is facing a massive migrant crisis. For some odd reason, the city decided to take in more migrants per capita than uh, any other sanctuary city. Now here's the thing. Denver, if they want to help migrants, it's fine, right? I don't think most people have a problem. The problem is how many migrants you take in. They took in like over 35,000, a huge number for a city of just 700,000 people. They, what they should have do is take in a few hundred because now the city is literally going broke. And if you look at your Aurora, Colorado, right next to it, this is not a big city. This is your typical suburban town with an airport, cinema, and mall, and Best Buy. There really isn't much to go around in Aurora. Just a bunch of suburban homes, okay? This is not like New York City. Look what's going on here. In Aurora, Colorado, armed citizens are now trying to reclaim their streets, posting signs that they mean business. This is another apartment complex in the city, and these guys are not joking around. Okay, these guys do not want their apartment complexes to be overrun by gang members. Because right now, there seems to be this massive gang violence and gang you know, increase in the suburban town. Which should not ever exist. Because Denver and its surrounding area was one of the biggest, most popular post-pandemic boom towns ever. People loved this place because it was low crime. It had a big downtown and beautiful suburbs. But now it's all being ruined. This is what we're seeing here, and apartment complexes are really, really scared. And check this out, guys. You do have a lot of gang members taking over. Colorado police says there's no problem, and this is what it looks like. This is just like one of many houses that's being broken in. There is a lot of lawlessness. There is a lot of crime. The cops can't do anything. The feds can't do anything. And the marshals can't do anything. This is the situation that people are dealing with, and it's frankly really scary. Imagine you live in a suburban community and you see this kind of stuff. I mean, this looks pretty normal for New York City, but this is not normal for Aurora, Colorado. You got people with shovels banging on doors, people with AKs trying to take over apartment complexes. And this is the situation that we're dealing with. And look at this, guys. Somebody's truck was shot up in the middle of the night in a random drive-by attack. Okay, This occurred just a few miles from the apartment complex that was taken over by violent gang members. Crime the city has absolutely skyrocketed. This is what it looks like. I can't imagine living in a place like this. You know, it was okay just a month ago, and now it's skyrocketing out of control. And we're also gonna be seeing, you know, a lot of Americans changing their votes. People feel like this is just a dystopian nightmare right now, brought by bad citywide policies. And right now we're gonna be seeing the city council members blaming the imagination of citizens for this. Guys, I don't really think blaming citizens for this, okay? People's homes are being taken over by people wielding AKs and shovels. I don't think this is people's imagination when a lot of people are filming this. People's cars are getting shot up and people's homes are being violated. This is the type of situation that we're dealing with. It just seems like the whole entire city is just sleeping on it. You know, the whole entire city ever since they started the whole migrant situation is going downhill. And the thing with Denver and its surrounding towns they don't want to deal with this. They don't want to have this happen. I, nobody really knows why the mayor of Denver decided to take in this many migrants when their city is so incredibly small. Because now they're cutting budgets of the fire department, police department, and schools because they're going broke. They're going broke pretty fast. Citizens right now mean business. Now there's also talks of the Hells Angels coming to Colorado trying to save the town. And I can't imagine you know, the cops not doing anything. You know, the city isn't doing anything to the point that you got to have everyday U.S. citizens come to the rescue, which is honestly absurd. Guys, if you go to any other first world country, you won't see this sort of situation, right? You know, go to like the UAE, you go to like Japan, China, Australia, you go to Singapore, for example, you're not going to be seeing this. Okay, That's, you'll never see this. But for some reason, this is getting more and more common. This is just getting super dystopian. It's getting so bad that nobody seems to care. Cops can't really do anything. So not everyday citizens have to arm themselves to protect their own property. Let's see what happens next. I think that things are evolving fast in Aurora, Colorado. And I think people are no longer just sitting there 
everyone seems to be kind of fed up. 